Okay, gonna take a quick look at borders. This is what I saw on this. Um, I think it was pretty clear that I was kind of bullish on this because it was holding such a strong base. There's your base. You can see it right through there. It keeps bouncing, it keeps holding, it keeps holding. I remember talking to Slow Shoes and saying that when this was holding there, it was looking strong. We're starting to see uh, the MACD trending up. The, the stow, the full stow is bottoming again. We've got a pretty good pinch going on. Things are looking pretty good. you got to remember at that point, the negative DI was still trying to curl downward. So it should definitely have your attention. And an entry at that point is not necessarily a bad thing whatsoever. So let me see if I can flip over to a 15-minute chart real quick. Put this up so we can annotate it. when the move right here was made it caught my attention now I would have liked to see a little bit more volume a bigger pop like maybe over in here to show if this thing has some strength but it's definitely a little bit higher than the volume had been on the 15 minute chart so it's giving you a pretty good pop right through the 100 day right through the 200 day you can see it's making a run at the 300 day so you got to be feeling somewhat, you know, an entry in that point would not scare me too much. But what happens is borders start showing weakness. It comes back down right through the 200 day, right through the 100 day. When you trend back over through here a little bit, let's take a, a look at, you know, you, there's a support level at 62. And there is a bottom support level at about 61. Those are your, your, your bare bones bottoms and you can see that on the daily chart if you flip back over to it. Well it comes back down and starts breaking back through the moving average. Bollinger start pulling back together. You have the parabolic SAR that's, that, that finally flips and it's got to be making you wonder okay is it gonna go is it gonna go well it gapped up and then came back down it couldn't hold once again border showed weakness came back down it kept holding support kept holding support well when it finally dumped through it there that's when you gotta be saying oh my lord I, it's, it's time for me to, to get to get out of this it's not that it's a terrible loss if you wait and you get in here you might be in it you know 66 well you're dumping it you know, you're dumping at 61, 62, 60, you're, you're getting out of it. And you're taking, you know, maybe a 10% loss because you took the risk of getting in here. And that's not the worst thing in the world. Well, what you'll hear me say all the time about support and resistance. Support, once it's broken, becomes resistance. And what happens? It comes back up, it hits resistance again, and it gets knocked right back down. It gets knocked right back down. And then it sets up another even lower resistance at 54. Now, when it gets down in here, I mean, you, you should have been long gone by now because look what happened at the end of the day today. So let me pop back over to the daily charts. And we'll pull this up and annotate it. What happened? Even if you want to take it down to the very bottom of your bottom support, and it started breaking through it, when it closed that day and was below, you, you should be saying, "I, I might, I think I've had enough here." Well, it's going to try again, and it's going to keep getting knocked down. Remember, the Dow through this whole time is fighting a little bit of a battle. I think one of the days was a terrible down day, but the other two days were somewhat treading water without too great of a change. Well, Borders is not is not a following along with that whatsoever you should be getting pretty nervous you shouldn't have been in it anymore at that point 
you were looking to get in it here when things were looking pretty decent with with the, the RSI trending up we'll look what's happening now it's coming back down it's not even drastically oversold at this point so we're not even thinking that all oh, big bounce is coming well there's not the worst things in the world because the MACD is still trending up, full stow is still bottomed out. We have another pinch coming back on, but the negative VI is still got a lot of room to come twisting back up. So it should stay on watch, but it's not one of those stocks you should be saying that I need to be in at this point. It's it, it, you want to watch it and, and maybe find that entry when it starts to show some strength or some news hits or something like that and gets you going. The point, the main point of this whole lesson is that. Border set up a nice base. It was holding. It was really, really staying in there, hanging in there. But when it lost it, it's time to get out and cut your losses. Now, maybe sometimes it'll come back down here. It'll bounce right back up and take back off. Well, if you're watching it, you'll see that happen. You go back to 50 minute, you'll see it bust back through the longer moving averages. You'll see the parabolic SAR flip for you. You'll see a lot of different things happen. Everything right in through here was showing down further you should have been paying attention to that and getting out and cutting your losses now I get pretty aggressive with things that I take them kind of personally so I would be on this hot and heavy and following it and saying I'm gonna try and catch this thing again later on um, you can look at some of the ones that I am in that I've mentioned on the board and you'll see they're holding bases and maybe trending up slightly and I will hold those until that bottom is broken I did it with NG and people that know me know I made out very well on that but if I would not have hesitated one second to dump if it didn't hold that bottom base look what this did to people in a matter of a couple days over two dollars to people that got shook out down here at 72 cents in a matter of three days so the best the best way of playing these pinchers is either you're gonna play the bounce and you're gonna get awful brave with it you're gonna look for the bases try and get in and cut your you know set yourself up you're going to cut your loss if it comes right back out or you're going to take a third approach which we can talk about later on which is when it makes that move starts coming back through everything's flipped it's breaking through the middle bollingers the parabolic stars below it there's a lot of different things involved in playing it once it makes the move but generally i am trying to jump the gun and catch these things before they make their move but I'm doing it when there's a base and if I can get out I will get out immediately once it breaks that base